All right, people. Welcome back. More Lee. <laughs> so, this is season one, week three, match three. I got it. <laughs> yeah. So, who is doing today, sir? All right. So, it is the <clears throat> Yugi Dark Magicians, who have Atlanteans, Trains, and Sylvans as their decks, with zero points so far, versus the... We just have a lot of... Oh, there we are, Stu. All right. Versus the Jack Red Archfiends, who, ha Stu, who has Burning Abyss, Fire Fist, and Worms as his deck, and has two points. Okay. There Is this go. a divisional match? Yep. Oh, wow. So it's a divisional match. Even though a lot of you guys are coveted, and, you know, at this point I agree, but it's too late now. <laughs> we put fucking Burning Abyss in the lower division. Like, what? Well, I, the thing is, I wanted two OCG decks and two TCG decks to be in there. Yeah. You know, how, that's how we wanted it to be. And, you know, I personally, I felt like Necros and Cleese were stronger than Burning Abyss at the time. So that's why it's like that. But definitely Burning Abyss deserved to be top, tippity top. Because, I don't know, I don't know. So far, uh, we haven't seen Luna's uh, duel this week, but so far, that man has not touched his uh, his tier one of Clown Blade. Interesting. No. Interesting. So, as we clearly see starting it off, uh, we got Sylvan, and he decided to mulligan. He decided to go ahead and uh, mulligan it oh, up. Oh, yeah? Because that's one of the rules, though. So one mulligan per match, of course, which, of course, mm. I think uh, leads to better duels, you know. Some people are against yeah. it, some people are fine with it, but, you know, personally... It seems at first it. everyone was against it, and now people, like, got used to it. They're like, oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Because the last thing we wanted to go ahead and have to... I mean, if someone literally kicks the crap out of you, then, you know what, they kick the crap out of you. There, there's nothing we could do about that. But, you know, we don't want you to lose just because you get a shitty hand. If they have their answers for you, then they have the answers, but if they literally just beat you just because you opened up like shit, and how entertaining is that? Anyways, we can clearly see we have... Mr. Kyle going back to the Sylvans. So, mm -hmm. Sylvans uh, tried to fight up against a tier one deck of. Uh, Didn't really work out too well. They got OTK and then FTK. Pendulum so. Dragons, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the Pendulum Magician's Odd Eyes. Whatever the name of that deck is. <laughs> I don't remember what we named it or what it's actually Odd called. Odd Eyes Pendulum Magicians. That sounds, is that what it's really called? Odd Eyes Pendulum Magicians. That's a long Abyss, ass name. Burning Abyss, Cleaport, Necro, Zephyr. Fucking bloody um, light sword, Zephra. Shadol, Zephra, no... Shadol, light sword, Shadol, everything else, MLG Pro. Oh yeah. Let's say Zephra's not even in the league. <laughs> <laughs> slap every fucking deck in Yu Gi Oh in it. It'll be all right. Don't worry. So, definitely one of the problems with Sylvans. They took a little while to set up, but as you guys clearly the light informed... on that field spell as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, guys clearly told us. This deck is definitely not a tier three deck, as we know. You know, uh, it's hard to balance out the tier two. I'd say tier two is one of the most difficult. I mean, obviously tier one's the best, and tier three is whatever you come up with. Tier two is a difficult one because, you know, we don't want to take too many. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> tier two's away. I mean, tier three's away from you when it comes to you know deciding which what, what you want to do with your tier three. But um, it's kind of a point to strength ratio when it comes to how tier two sit. You know. Uh, we kind of forgot about Sylvans, but when the I when problem, you said th the problem as well is when it came to tier one point five, people were saying, "Well, there isn't going to be a tier one point five, even though there is." You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like when we so it's like some tier one point fives we either had to scrap, some we had to put to tier one, some we had to put to tier two. So that's why I think some people could be like, "Wait, why is this deck tier two? It's like, well, it was tier really one point five, but we have this in tier one, so we didn't want to put this as well, and we wanted to sort of even it out." Yeah. Rather, than it just, rather than tier one just be a complete whitewash automatically for anything. You know, because uh, we, we sat down and we thought about it. And uh, at the time that we prepared this, Ritual Beasts weren't as strong as they are currently. Because, like I said, mm -hmm. um, and we just thought that it wouldn't be fair to go ahead and, you know, have Ritual Beasts try to stack up to, you know, like decks like necros necros like. and cleaves and burning abyss who like i said are are ritual beasts a great deck yeah I, like i said tier 1.5 but they have consistency issues and last thing and this is of course before the mulligan rule the last thing you want to do is give away three points to a tier three deck that beat ritual beast just because ritual beast didn't open up good enough yeah it's as simple as that you know uh that deck's just a little bit too inconsistent 
And, uh, you know, we've, we've been getting a lot of comments on that where you're like, what the hell? You know, heroes are tier one, but virtual beasts are tier two. Like, well, virtual beasts, they were, they were borderline. You know, that, that is, of course, borderline in anybody's eyes to where it sits. You know, is it, is it up there with the top of the tippity top or is it kind of like in the middle? Is it tier one? Is it tier two? I said, like I said, 1.5. Uh, mm-hmm. well, the problem the, is but, we don't have a 1.5, you know, thing, do we? So it had to be either one or two. Yep. And at the time when we were creating the league, we wanted to incorporate some more OCG decks. We took, take a look, took a look at the OCG. One of the best decks in OCG was, of course, Heroes. So we decided to go ahead and put Heroes as a tier one deck to see, in comparison, how good it is to uh, see over here in TCG. I mean, like, when are you ever going to see OCG Heroes duel against Burning Abyss? I know. Exactly. So, <laughs> but as you can clearly see, uh, we have Stu here representing uh, the Jack Red Archfiends using his tier two deck of Firefist. And Firefist, that definitely, you know, with their three axis plays, definitely put it in that work, getting, uh, <laughs> getting them resources. He started off with six, and now he has that. <laughs> like nine like that's crazy something like that yeah so plus. It's, it's great that you can go so plus so plus and set the back rows just like as a no so and he does have that ro- cow does have that rose lover so contribute that and summon a big sylvan from hand and it's unaffected by traps yep so maybe he can go ahead and put some work with that of course we saw from the pr- time previous that cow used sylvan they took a little while to set up you know uh, they generally don't go off too often, especially if you don't get Lone Fire, which doesn't seem like he got. So, uh, he's just trying to go ahead and uh, play the resources, and hopefully you did that wrong, but okay. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, you, you can go ahead and show him the reveal of a card. The problem is your hand gets shuffled, so now we don't know where the card is. For all we know, you t- return two n- non silver cards. Random cards. Two random have... cards that weren't Sylvan's back, for all we know. So, <laughs> you probably should have just, you know, played them on the field, but I guess you couldn't <laughs> to an extent. Well, you could have bought them on the field. like. Could've... What, what was it, terraforming and what was the other card? Terraforming and the field spell, Sylvan field spell. So what you could have done is just use the field spell that's currently gone, put that in the graveyard, play the field spell you wanted to return in the zone, then go, oh, to top of deck, and then, you know, put the terraforming and the spell trap zone and be, oh, to top of the deck, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then return you. In whichever order you wanted, obviously. Yep. Are you kidding me? Is that is that it? Is that all you got? Is that game? Kyle. <laughs> and as a you... man, as a man who has Sylvans, and a man who can fucking kick the shit out of people and drop fucking double, sometimes triple fucking Felgrand in one turn on people. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing uh, it. Freaking people sitting here telling us, oh, the Sylvans are in tier 3 and tier 2. It's literally every single time that Sylvan's been on here so far, they've lost and got the crap kicked out of them, so. <laughs> Maybe we'll bump them to tier fucking 7 next. <laughs> like, yeah, is that game? I mean, you're not dropping any gores or anything. Wow, and that is it. <laughs> wow. Mmm. GG. <laughs> GG. <laughs> GG. Too good. Oh. Why didn't you play oh. the Rose Lover to summon it? Why didn't you? You could have. Why you didn't could... you play the fucking the Rose, Rose Lover, Lover, banish it, summon the bloody Sage Koya, yeah. and then you could have. Oh, At least God. beat over something, and you would have been unaffected by traps, too. Yeah. You could have survived. You could have survived, but hey, that's it. You misplayed. That's part yeah. of the league. Bad hand. Yep. See, because if we were, of course, playing on. Death Pro, why Death Pro, then that, that graveyard would have been glowing, but here? Nah, you gotta remember it yourself. In real life, yeah. your graveyard doesn't glow telling you what to do. Oh, damn it. No. Wow, so he mulliganed and still got a shitty hand. So they're gonna go ahead and side, so we're gonna pause and be right back. Alright, people. Alright. They are done siding, and we are back. So, can we at least see Kyle take this to game three? I said, you know, and you guys are trying to, trying to crucify it. They're like, how the hell did you allow Silvers to be a tier three? <laughs> no it just goes to show, you know, not everything is perfect. Everything is perfect on paper, but you know, when you apply it, sometimes it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. So, is anybody gonna use the mulligan? Nope, no mulligan from Stu. I'm glad that they got the mulligan rule right. I'm glad that yes. you know, they started off asking it because it was kind of shaky, and they were, they were gonna crucify for that. You know what? Why don't you guys just crucify us already? 
<laughs> I already have. I already have the cross for you guys. Don't worry. I already have, I've already built the cross. Sure. Do, and I've got and I've got the nails. I, and I'll get the hammer for you. you. Just need to come around and fucking nail me to it. <laughs> I'm gonna to start off with that self and charity. Very powerful card. Very, Very powerful. powerful. Card. You know, if, if you that card was in people the are like, oh, that game. card's uh, so trash because you don't plus off it. Yeah, but you, yeah, but the thing is, while you're not plussing off it, it does two things. It sets your top of your deck up for your excavating later, later on that turn, or with your field spell or whatever. But it lets you draw three extra cards. There are times when I've opened complete shit. I've gone Sylvan Charity, drawn three cards. I've been like, oh great, well these three cards I can work with. That I draw off the charity, so I'll put two of these cards I had before that are shit back. Yep. Think about if some other archetype had that card, that'd be just beautiful. <laughs> I think if Burning Abyss had that card. I know. <laughs> so like necros or anything. Uh huh. Like just anything. Just draw please, three please cards. Just draw fucking three cards and just put two back random. Like, oh, oh, sure, why not? Sure, put some please back. I don't care. I'll just do three cards deep. I'm gonna go ahead and draw into them, lose one turns, and fuck you up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Sylvan Charity, I already put in that work. So it's not a plus because you play it. Then you, you play draw it. Three. You draw three. You put two Just... back, and the card goes to the graveyard. So you even out, but you set okay. yourself up. It's two plus. So in a way, it is a plus. Okay, so really in a way, would... it's it's a plus slash enabler because it can help you either plus depending what you put back, or it can enable your plays depending what you put back. So. This man. This man. This man. <laughs> you don't even know what he's. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's it. Only that's the best, it. people. Next, Only the best. Next, that's it. Next time you want to play Sylvans, no, 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 no. I'm putting my foot down saying, you ain't touching my fucking Sylvans. I'll play Sylvans. And I'll do it better than you. You're embarrassing us. You're embarrassing us in front of Yu-Gi-Oh. Do you not see him in the watcher's chat? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is watching you fuck up Yu-Gi-Oh right now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's like, how dare you fuck me up right now. <laughs> and got sidetracked. What were you doing? I don't know. I'm pulling up, though. <laughs> Hello? Uh, okay, <laughs> well, you on Senate Charity? That's resolved. Wow, okay. You got that, uh... That's... Yeah, I wonder if that's a commushroom. <laughs> yeah, a commushroom. Like the one fucking card they ever set. I yeah. wonder if that's what it is. Hmm. Oh, you better hope this man doesn't What you not be? What you fucking not be? Like, would you be something like either a spore or a glow up ball? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'd be like talking all that good shit. Like, oh, I wonder what it is. So obvious. Oh, it's a spore glow up ball. Wow, I thought he was just gonna go simple and just go can't you grab bear, bear throw the chair. But nope. Stewie Stew is more has more pizzazz than that. He's gonna go ahead and summon his leopard, should read it off, go ahead and get him a Tensu, Tensu, and he's gonna, he's gonna go ham. Like, oh, get ready people. It, it's, it's, here we go. <laughs> go ahead and put a Tensu, summon a spirit, spirit, leopard, and just go so plus, so plus. <laughs> or he's gonna grab another Tenki that he can't play. Okay. Alright. Oh, here he has a Tensu. Okay. That's fine. So now bear or are you, or spirit, spirit. All right. Yep. Pick up. Time for him to go. So stupid plus go go stupid plus. Okay. So at least no one's at least no one's arguing that this deck is tier two, right? No, it's tier three. <laughs> How dare you? I'm very offended. It's tier three. <laughs> Cause God, this deck gets the pluses. <laughs> it's tier three. It's not even good. It's trash. Go away. <laughs> Okay. Fucking Ojamas could beat the men, okay? Yep. God. I mean, and you're just gonna talk into it. Okay. Said, wow. I knew it wouldn't be a fucking. I said, oh, it would be cool mushroom. I was like, no, wait, you know what? Just because I've said that, it won't be, will it now? <laughs> well, like I say, you got that Rose Lover you can banish if you remember that this time. Oh, no, this time. <laughs> So of course, it's gonna go ahead and take 17. Let's see if he actually remembers the math. <laughs> Woo, you got it. <laughs> hey. Yeah. And once again, the plus is the real. Oh, yeah, go ahead and give him the other life force back. Why not? Why not? Once again, upstart. Such a great card. Life points don't mm -hmm. mean much. <laughs> I'll give you life points as long as I can get to my cards quicker, my resources quicker. Mm hmm. 
He's gonna go ahead and MST. Of course, hitting that tanky. That he or reset additional tanky search. So, yep, that tanky is gone. Even though he could have sized hate against you. Even though know, you could have just set the MST, let him go flip the tanky up and be like, no. Yeah, you could have scared him with it. Yeah. I don't know why you oh, had well. to just throw it at him. I said I probably would have held on to it. Saved it. Mm -hmm. For all you know, that card, that other side card is like a vanity, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, flip up fancy senses. GG. Oh. I'm gonna throw my MST at it. Well, where is that Rose? Oh, uh, Rose Warrior. Paladin. Paladin, uh, Paladin, that's it. Yeah, Rose Paladin, then he's gonna attack over the uh, chicken. He's gonna, he's gonna go and ahead. And then gonna activate the effect to tribute itself to summon a high level Sylvan in face up defense. Right. So, yeah, Paladin, Kyle went and beat up uh, Stu's cock. Oh, wait. Yep. Beat the <laughs> cock. <laughs> yep. Gonna use the effect. I apologize that my mouse is not over Paladin. I was, like I said, this is all post commentary, and I really wasn't watching the door because I didn't want to spoil it. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. so I apologize. So, what's what's Paladin's effect? You can Paladin's effect is once it uh, destroys an opponent's monster by battle, it contributes itself and summon a, I think level five or higher. It's it's high level plant anyway from the deck in face up defense position. No, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's handy. Pitch. Plus, it's also its main effect is it can uh, you can pitch it and you can add a level seven or higher plant monster from your deck to your hand. So if you're running trade in, it's a great card because it's a warrior as well. So you can go rotor search to paladin, paladin effect, get rid of it, get like a uh, a stage coyer, and then play trade in, trade the stage coyer into the graveyard where you want it typically anyway, and then draw cards. Okay. It's like a nice little engine. And it has pretty itself. good synergy with Rose. Rose Lover. Lover, that's her name. <laughs> I almost forgot her name. Plus the fact that Rose Lover is a plant, so it can be tributed from the hand field uh, with um, the field spell to stack your deck. And then you can then use Rose Lover's effect, banish it from the graveyard, summon your high level Sylvan from the hand, and excavate the card you just put on top of the deck from the field spell. Still not looking too good. Of course, we know from Pokemon. Grass is weak to fire, so this is not looking too good. I don't get it. All you need to do is drop a fucking Felgrand and he loses. Yeah. Drop Felgrand. Drop it. So uh, I'm assuming that this duel's not going to last too much longer unless he has some kind of defense. You know, kind of sucks that Sylvans just don't have the room to play any back row to defend. You know, and with oh. Stu completely out resourcing him, Bear throws a chair. You know, maybe tend to research, like, I don't, I don't know, I'm not sure how much longer it's going to survive. You know, it's super effective. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this week is all the Pokemon week. <laughs> you got yeah. the water, grass, and fire uh, starter analogy with the three top decks. <laughs> now we got this. You wanted to see Yu-Gi-Oh? No, this is Pokemon. Totally better. Wait, didn't he take too much damage? Yeah, he did. He did. 200 more damage than you're supposed to. Well, I think he's gone. <laughs> Sees the sinner like, wait a minute. <laughs> so, wait a minute, this is wrong. Did I say something or not? Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Bear effect. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, I guess you didn't really have anything else to play. I guess not. I mean, it's not like Goyoku's going to be any good against Sylvans. Nope, I mean, maybe he'll forget to activate his Royal Decree during your draw phase or standby phase, and then you'll activate the Goyoku on his Royal Decree during your main phase. That's the only thing some, I can some, some don't even main Royal Decree. Damn, so I have no idea what's up with Goyoku. <laughs> some don't even main Royal Decree. Some either go for just free back row of a... Uh, can pull some bottomless and solemn, like to even shit out if they get it. Or some just don't even play Road to Career any back row at all, they just like they'll play some extra spells to stop shit like vanities and that. Alright Kyle, this is your last stand. If you don't do anything now, it's over, so. Don't do not do not embarrass Sylvans. Don't do it. 
I just think Kyle is so unlucky. This is the second duel, and still, no lone fire. I swear to God, if you reveal a fucking high level silver when you have that rose lover in your graveyard again, I'm gonna <laughs> kill you. And of course, I'm gonna jump through the internet and I'm gonna stab you. All right, I'll stop it. Stop and, being bad. And of course, never set against fire. Never set, bear. never set against bear. That that is you just clearly asking the chair to get thrown at you. Oh, is well. this it? Did Not you forget day, that Rose Lover is in the graveyard Please again? Tell look if you don't if you don't have level five or higher sylvans, well actually it doesn't even need to be level five or higher. Rose Lover can banish the special summon any plant. Mm. So you can go Rose Lover. Spe I've done it before. You can go Rose Lover special summon like a Lone Fire, Lone Fire, Lone Fire, Lone Fire into what you want. Flip up Miracle Foot because you haven't normal summoned. Get a uh, a Lone Fire bat. Lone Fire into something you want, and then fucking Soul Charge three more. Look at this! Fires. Look at this, Kyle. <laughs> this man is telling you how to play your deck. <laughs> He's telling oh. you the wombo, the combo, bear. Throw the throw the chair. Throw the chair. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I swear to God, if you have. All right, I swear to God, if you have a fucking Sage Coyer or a friggin' Hermitry in your hand, I'm gonna kill you. Is that it? Both of them could have got over both of the monsters. Yep. I don't know what you're Is doing. Is that it? Yep. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, another Rose Lover. Yeah, Rose Arch, which I don't run. I don't blow up. So you really have nothing, but still. Damn. Damn, not yet another duel without getting Lone Fire. I don't, I personally don't run Rose Archer because even though I run two Rotor, I don't run Triple Rotor, but even though I run two Rotor in my build for the Rose Paladin, I just find it gets in the way sometimes. It's like it's in my hand and it'll either not play traps. I'm like, well, what the fuck use are you? Or it just clogs at times. So I just, I eventually took Rose Archer out. It's a good card, but it just clogs sometimes in Sylvan, so you don't want that. Damn. See? There we go. So, uh, go ahead and write down the point. So, Kyle, still with nothing? Yep. Wow. Um, he still Steve... got four more weeks, but and still gets a point. Mm -hmm. So, what's Stu at? Stu is at three points. Wow, so also tied for top of the division, huh? Mm-hmm, with Omega Chaos. Right. Depends what Omega gets. Yep, which of course we'll find out in a couple of hours. But, wow. All right, oh, people. Well. Wow. So, what were we saying? <laughs> what were we saying? The same, the same reason why we dropped Ritual Beast down to Tier 2 is the same reason why this day to Tier 3 is just a little bit too inconsistent. Look, look at this. Mm -hmm. Look at this, people. Look at this. You're going to get probably one of the most consistent decks in the league, Fire Fist, with this, with Sylvans, and it was super effective. <laughs> All right, people. Yes. We're going to go ahead and call it. So... Uh, of course, come back a couple hours, watch uh, match four of week three. So, I hope that you guys enjoy. Look at you with that unprofessionalism of the Camtasia. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you said to me about it. Mm. All right. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thank you, co-commentator Sonic, for joining me. No problem. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And we will see you guys in match four. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Yeah.